All right, Jules. Yeah. Where are we going? Freaking Rescoosh. <laughs> we are at Radisson Station, which is one of your top three metro top three, stations. Yeah. We're about to ride what I am going to call Canada's worst commuter rail line. I think there's a reasonable argument for it. This was like a new build line that they built in 2014. They ha it has like new trackage and it runs like eight trains a day. It's like, why would you build new trackage for eight trains a day? Yeah, it's wild. Right now we're taking a bus from Radisson up to Mascouche and literally like metro to this bus, the XO30, is probably faster than, uh, <laughs> than faster, the Mascouche yeah. line. All right, here comes our bus. The head sign's broken, so it just says 30 Express. Oh, okay. I see. Ooh, this is very retro, yeah. Oh, yeah. That seems a little ancient. This this it this is. whole setup is pretty ancient. Oh. Oh, we're not, okay, we're, there's, oh someone else got on. Okay. There are luggage racks. There's like you know, waste baskets, I guess. The seats recline, which I think is more than can be said for uh for XO Rail. Wait, mine's broken. Oh no. It's broken. Oh, this isn't fair. I am very grateful this bus runs both directions because the train, the first outbound train doesn't get you up there in time for the last inbound train in the morning that goes to Gare Central. Wait, we get a whole river thing. Yeah. Wow. If only we could see anything out that way. Uh, you can't tell on camera, but the dots are just like aggressive. So we're here at um, uh, Tabone. Terminal. So it literally like, means good land. Oh, oh I like that. There's a million buses over there all lined up. This feels like it would be a, a very good place to run a commuter rail line to connect with all the buses, but that would make too much sense. So that's where Terrebonne Station is. Yeah. That's where it is. <laughs> it's also called Terminus Terrebonne, and that's Mascouche. Is it just like it's technically in the municipality of Terrebonne, I guess? Probably. That's a jump That's a jump Oh. Well. Wow. TOD. This is a lot for eight trains a day. They can't run the service more. I mean, it's, well, it's good to see. It's good They're to see. are really catering to like the the suburban commuter. This is wild. We have, I mean, a lot of bike racks, yeah. a screen showing us the amazing schedule. So we're getting the last train that actually goes to Garrison Trial, and then these these following ones, which I think is every subsequent train for yeah, the I whole day. Um, yeah, which is. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, yeah. so you're supposed to change to the metro, which is arguably way faster than taking it or all the way around. Unsick. Go central. Yeah. It's almost an hour. They've got like a bike path into the station. Lots of parking, which is to be expected. All right, we have a lot of minis to check out. I saw this bathroom. Now it's time for a bathroom review. Woo. Oh, it's just open. Oh, it's a little single stall. It's a light. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's a ticket machine, and there's, there could be paper schedules, but there aren't. Okay, you can get drinks out of here for three twenty-five. Yeah. Canadian dollars. I like this poster here; it's completely useless. Good to see elevators. The station was built in twenty fourteen, so yeah, so yeah. better be accessible. Yeah. No. No. Wait, why no? SS works because that's sous sol, mm. which means basement. Okay. But no. First time seeing. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think it's level zero, niveau zero. Oh. Yeah, that's not a. Oh, that's a zero. Oh, it's went way out of focus. This is wild. This is. This feels very liminal. Where are all these? There's all these secret doorways. What, what magical places do they lead to? It has to be said, the station has some great amenities, like it's a nice station. It's just so weird that it's eight trains a day and they built all this. Oh man, wow. So this is a three car train. At the end of the platform is a huge maintenance facility and then here's our very nice looking train in the foggy bizarreness of Mascouche. Pull the door open button, and now we've just stepped into New Jersey Transit. Yep. We've got waste baskets. But yeah, I mean, it's oh. it's just if you ever ridden New Jersey Transit, is that the French? Here we are on the lower level. Of the, the fact that the window aligns with the platform. How rare are high-level platforms here? Uh, okay, we have. Well, there's Gare Centrale. There's this stop. 
There's one at Garde du Palais in Quebec. The fact that I'm struggling pretty much <laughs> tells you how rare they are. We've migrated to the cab car, which has a uh, toilet. Now it's time for a toilet review. Woo! Oh, there's the light and the and Yeah, I mean, tr train bathroom. We have to stand corrected here. This is actually a more comfortable seat than the coach bus. Yeah. Not to mention there's AC on here, which the coach bus probably didn't have because it was like it's broken. Kind of the window is, is pretty good. Yeah, coat is hanger. Not here the door is closing. There's not too much fogging in the windows, which is nice. Yeah, off we go at uh, 7.30. And we don't get to Gaia Central until 9.19. Damn. One thing I gotta say, because it's new track, this ride is so nice. Yeah, also so smooth. Well, the buy levels honestly have an amazing ride. This is a multi okay, in general. <laughs> so we're starting our weird descent. High median section. It's it's new track. I guess what else would you do but build it in the median of a highway? Yeah. And so is this like a passenger only? Yeah, that's the that's like one of the rare exo owned sections of the commuter rail network. Is that why they're so infrequent a lot of times? Like probably. freight companies? Yeah, probably. I had to point out that like on the metro, let's say Porsche and Arette, but because we're on a, a real big boy train, it's Porsche and Gare. Yeah, it's actually Gare. Oh Gare. Oh, that's actually good. We're, we're flying along at 62 miles an hour, 66. Oh, wow. Where's that in, in Canadian units? I don't uh, even know. That's a hundred and something. Oh, okay. It sounds way more impressive when you put it that way. We're officially beating a car. Woohoo! We're now beating up to... Two cars. We're up to 72. There's just nothing out there. I mean, it's just like, you know, fields and forests. Everything about this is wacky, just like, going so fast down this highway in the middle of nowhere in uh, New Jersey transit <laughs> by levels. It's really <laughs> multi-level. Oh, yeah, we were at 79. We made it up to 79. Got it. Highway median station. Oh man. Parking, single track, station, uh, entrance only on that side because there's literally nothing on this side. I see there's maybe like five people waiting. It's a very quiet train. I imagine it will probably get busier once we do the weird turn and kind of end up on a more direct path, maybe. We're on a bridge, we're leaving the highway. It's very weird looking out the window and just seeing it's like a bridge oh, yeah. a bunch through of the woods. Here. Condos, oh. Yeah. But they're not really that close to the train station. Yeah, they're I feel not like... close to the train station and they're near a highway interchange, so screw this. Here's the ammo shed. Julie, you think you can explain this better than I can? Okay, so basically, right next to this, yeah. like, on the other side, there's a general dynamics plan mm. where to make explosives. Oh, cool. So if something were to happen, yeah. they needed something that would protect the train <laughs> from the blast. So that's what happens when you, when you build a rail line right next to an explosives plant. You get a mile long wall. Yeah. With a roof, there's like a roof over us. With a roof, not a highway median station, but a there are a lot under more people here. Station. We've now joined up with the main line, so there's a lot more people here because it's just like now it's a direct route, at least to the orange line. Garrison yeah. Trial is another story. I'm very curious how many people will actually stay on for that. I should have filmed what we were going through. It was like dense housing here. It was like an actual town, and it just drives straight okay. through with no station. Yeah. The station's like a I'm parking lot. Okay, this is a fantastic view. Yeah. I can't believe we went straight through that dense town with just no stop. It's such like it's such like ancient commuter rail planning, and they did it in 2014. Just built a park and ride instead of putting a station in the town. We're on the island of Montreal. I yep. started the timer. I want to see what time is it is going to be when we're at Gare Centrale. <laughs> It's gonna be a long timer. I predict an hour and a half. So I mean, in terms of the urbanism of this line, it's it's actually suddenly gotten very, very good. So over there we have all the dense apartments and then a huge strode, and, and then here's the station on the other side with a parking lot. And it's low floor. Oh no. But it has a ramp. And there are a lot of people waiting, like I feel like yeah. more than the others. I cannot believe how bad the station placement is. Yeah. This, like, you're going through these dense, underserved areas and you're putting the stations in these, like, parking lot. Like, what, yeah. who do you think you're trying to serve? I feel like they should have the lower deck be the quiet one because this is where you go to just, like, sit and stew. Yeah, and, like, it feels more... 
clothes, more like comfier on the right. lower deck. Upper levels for people who want to see out and like talk about what they're seeing. Yeah. I, I don't understand why the upper deck would be the quiet one. This stop is Not. nothing. Why is this also a Via station? Like why this one? This station has had the fewest ons since like way back at the end side of the line. It's like, why yeah. is this the one that Via also stops at? When I say Via, I mean the uh, Northern Quebec adventure routes that yep. um, follow this, this main line. By the way, Montreal folks, I am sorry for two disparaging videos in a row about your fair city. Unfortunately, I like to say that the metro is like a world-class system and then every other mode of transit in the city kind of sucks. I don't know, I, I honestly <laughs> agree. Except for, well, the rim. Those are uh, the rim. I always forget yeah. about the rim. I always forget yeah, about the yeah, rim. Yeah. Okay, so this is Sauvé where you can transfer to the orange line. Lots of people getting out. We'll see how busy it is after the next one, which is the last one before it gets on trial. Okay, so it is 8.19. We're actually leaving a minute early. Ooh. We're gonna get to Gare Central at 9.19, an hour from now. If you were to get on the metro that gets here at 8.21, bearing in mind the metro is every three minutes, um, 8.21, that would get you to Gare Central at 8.40. Yeah. So you would beat this train by 39 minutes. <laughs> it's a temporary deviation. Yeah. It used to ru run through the Montreal Tunnel. Right. Except it's closed because they're putting the rem in it. Yeah. The REM being Montreal's new automated metro, it's yeah. gonna be really good. And it used dual mode trains. Yeah, right? dual mode trains. It would they turn to electric up, power when it went into the tunnel. They actually put up a, uh, the catenary all the way to Unstick. Now it, they removed it. Oh. But yeah, so when REM opens up, I believe the plan is to have this end at yeah, the REM station. It's not going to be this ridiculous. <laughs> Hour. So that'll run over there, connect with yeah, the REM. Oh, the there's the REM station, okay. That's the station, so the train will get off. Well, the, the train will stop there, and that's the REM, and the... Oh, okay, the cables are there. Hey, it looks pretty good. All right, that, that's exciting. So there's a positive yeah. future for this line. Oh, and that's a bus. Ooh, a bus though. yard. Is that a new flyer bus in Montreal? Yes, we have new flyers. <laughs> we have electric new flyers. Whoa. I just had the realization that we left Mascouche at 7.30. We it's got now, there at like 8.24 or whatever. It's been an hour. And, but then there's another hour to Garrison Trial. So yeah. like half the trip is just like squiggling around. And get, like let's walk the train, we'll see how many people yeah. are on board and then we'll determine if this, it's worth it to run this. How many? Three. I got two, so 20. 20 people on the train. Like, that's more than expected. But they just have time to waste. <laughs> Maybe they just don't want to stand on the metro. Oh, maybe. Transit's all about trade-offs, right? Yeah. It's like, sometimes you have to make decisions that will upset a small number of people. And having the train spend an hour going around to Gare Central is not worth it for 20 people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So they can also increase the frequency. If the trip is an hour shorter, like half the length, they can run the train yeah. back and forth more. Yeah, because you're just wasting a train. Which then you still have the issue of like the, the ammunition fall and the crappy station placement. But yeah. you've taken away one thing that makes the line terrible. So also I noticed that we stopped. Yeah, the, uh, that's, the, that's, that's why, because it's long. Because there's a big Canadian, uh, I don't know, I think it's Canadian National Yard. Mm -hmm. It's a really big yard. And that's why it's so long, because the train has to stop for the yard. One thing that is wild, though, is that in 2018, at least, this line was getting, what, like 7,200 people a day, something like that? Add this to the Vaudreuil Hudson, which gets 10,000. Yeah. We've actually, with two lines, you've got the ridership for Los Angeles Metrolink. Which is a huge system. Wait, which bigger. is like 600 kilometers of line. What is that a testament to? Is that just like this, like Montreal has more transit ridership? Is this more like dense? More dense. But it's the really stations are so that's, awful. Like that's the stations are thing. awful. There's just more around them, I guess, for people to like yeah. take a bus to or drive to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why I can't call it the worst line on the continent, because American commuter rail lines just don't get this level of ridership. And it's crazy that this can get that much ridership with eight trains a day. You know, you can't write it off completely. It's just operationally incredibly bad. So when it just connects to the REM and hopefully runs more frequently, I think it'll be a really big improvement. That's all the cars. Right. Literally all the cars. Like, <laughs> if a car gets shipped to Montreal, it probably went by here. Wow. Maybe the uh, 20 people left on this train are actually freight foamers who are curious to see the goings on with these, exactly. uh, these big yards. I don't know if it's worth documenting this, but we have stopped again. I mean, 
if you're interested in how many times it stops, I guess it's, it's twice so far. So we've reached the, the apex of this of this crazy little parabola we've got going on. Oh. So it feels like we're riding a pacer. A pacer. Now that's a good one for the UK people out there. Yeah? Yeah, the track quality has really gotten quite bad. We're finally heading into Gare Central, so we might be there in 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. I mean, we're not in the clear yet. We had like a nice fast section before this. Yeah. Um, it was nice and straight, but now we've got this like weird approach where we like cross this this canal twice. It's like a whole thing. Well, we appear to maybe be stopping again. What'd they say? I was waiting for him to say it in English, but uh, there's congestion to Gare ah. because there's only one track available for apparently. Oh, cool. So we might be there for a while. Great. I was wondering what these like jumper cables were for. Is that is this to lock yeah, your bike? Lock That's bike. so fun. We're off again, again at 9.08. So if we can get there in 11 minutes, we'll be on time. So this is our first crossing of that canal. Do you, what's the canal called? Uh, it's oh, you don't know. the canal or the Lachin one. We have two, two big Two ones. options. So it's the Lachin one. Okay. Mm. Because there's the rapids of Lachin, which are kind of impossible to cross by ship. Oh. So it was used to bypass this. We're just crawling through the neighborhood. Crawling. Oh, what's this? Oh. Are we making our way yep, somewhere? We're, we're, yeah, no, we're actually taking the junction to uh, the We can get a little foam review of the exo yard here, briefly. Oh, there's REM. There's, oh, that's yep, cool. There's a REM. Look at that. Yeah. This is some prime, you know, we're stopped, but we get some prime shipping container crane foaming. Yes. But yeah. Okay, you just missed a rem. Okay, that's two rems that have passed us so far. Yes. Because the rem is every three minutes. Okay, we've lurched into movement. Hopefully that's the last time that uh, we'll the be last stopped. Last time we're stopping. It's 9.16. If we can get there in three minutes, we'll be on time. All right, so we're coming in the Gare Centrale. Jules has told me that there is a strict no filming policy within the state. Yeah. <laughs> An hour and 32 minutes. An hour and a half. That checks out. Once we step off the train, the video will end. Oh, we can't, you can't film in the station itself? I've filmed there before. You just got yelled at. And... Oh, I got yelled at. Oh. I was taking pictures and I got yelled at. Well, we won't take risks. Do you have any parting thoughts about the message line? Well, I hope the ram fixes stuff. Yeah. Because ridiculous <laughs> the, the and this feels pointless all right well anything anything else not much redacted because the Mascouche line has been in the news recently. Um, the commuter rail operator is threatening to cut it and replace it with bus service. Um, I don't think it's actually gonna happen. It's kind of a funding, getting funding gambit. Um, but as we saw in the video, bus service probably would be faster. That being said, I am excited for when REM opens. I think that maybe having that shorter route, being able to run more frequent service, hopefully will give it a little more ridership. Also, I finally got the haircut. <laughs>